Are those the Yules sitting down yonder? Hush, Mr. Heck Tate is testifying. In your own words, Mr. Tate. Well, I was called. Could you say to the jury, Mr. Tate? Thank you. Who called you? I was fetched by Bob, by Mr. Bob Yule, yonder one night. What night? It was the night of November 21st. I was leaving my office to go home, and Bob, Mr. Yule came in. Very excited he was. He said, get out, get out to his house quick. Some Negro raped his girl. Did you go? Certainly. Got in the car and went out as fast as I could. What did you find? I found her laying on, lying on the floor in the middle of the front room. One on one of the rights as you go in. She was pretty well beat up, but I heat her and, and yeah, I heat her, her feet and she washed her face in a bucket in the corner. And she was all she was alright. I asked her who hurt her and she said it was Tom Robinson. I asked her if he beat her like that. She said yes he had. I asked her if he took advantage of her and she said yes he did. So I went down to Robinson's house and brought him back. He, she identified him as the one, so I took him in. That's all there was to it. Thank you. Any questions, Atkins? Yes. Did anybody call a doctor? No, sir. Did anybody send for one, fetch for one? No, sir. Why didn't you? It wasn't necessary, Mr. Finch. She was mighty beat up. Something sure happened. It was obvious. But you didn't call a doctor? No, sir. Why are you there? Did anybody send for one, fetch one, carry her to one? He's answered the question three times, Atticus. He didn't call a doctor. I just wanted to make sure, Judge. Sheriff, you say she was mighty banged up. In what way? Well... Just describe her injuries, heck. Well, she was beating around the head. There was already bruises coming, coming on her arms. And it happened around three, 30 minutes before. How do you know? Sorry, that's what they said. Anyways, she was pretty bruised up when I got there. She had a black eye coming. Which eye? Let's see. Can't you remember? Her left. Wait a minute, Sheriff. Was it her left facing you, or your left facing her? Oh, yes. That'd make it her right. It was her right eye, Mr. Finch. I remember now. She was banged up on the side of her face. You say you're at the window? Yes, sir. How far is it from the ground? About three foot. Did you have a clear view of the room? Yes, sir. How did the room look? Well, it was all slung about like there was a fight or something. What did you do when you saw the defendant? Well, I ran around the house to get in. But he ran out the front door just ahead of me. I saw he was all right. I was too distracted about my ale to run after him. I ran out of the house and she was swallowing lying there on the floor. <laughs> now what did you do? Well, I had run for Tate as quick as I could. I know who it was. He lived down there in the Negro Nest. I've been bugging the city to clean up that Negro Nest for 15 years now. They devalue my property. Thank you, Mr. Yu. Just a minute, sir. I'd like to ask you a question, too. Mr. Ewell, folks were doing a lot of running that night. Let's see, you say you ran to the house, you ran to the window, you ran inside, you ran to Minnie you ran for Mr. Tate. Did you during all that running run for a doctor? There's no need to, sir. I just saw what happened. Weren't you concerned with Minnie Ella's condition? I was, sir. I saw who died. No, I mean her physical condition. Did you not think the nature of her injuries warranted immediate medical attention? What? Didn't you think she should have a doctor immediately? Yes, sir. That all? Not quite. Mr. Yule, you heard the sheriff's testimony, didn't you? Yes. You were in the courtroom when Mr. Hack Tate was on the stand, weren't you? You yeah. heard everything. He yes, said, didn't you? Yes, sir. Do you agree with his description of Mayella's injuries? Yes, sir. Mr. Tate testified that her right eye was blackened, that she was beaten around the... Oh, yeah. I stand with everything Tate said. You do? I just want to make sure. You heard it again, Mr. Hugh. 
Do you have anything to add to it? Do you agree with the chair? Holds up with Tate. Her eyes black and she was mighty beat up. Mr. Yu, can you read it right? Objection. Completely irrelevant. Judge, if you don't have a question plus another one, you'll soon see. All right, let's see. Make sure we see Atticus Finch. Overruled. I'll repeat the question. Can you read and write? I most positively, positively can. Will you write your name and show us? I most positively will. How do you think I signed my relief checks? Please write your name. Clear them now so the jury can see. Your left hand. Yes, sir. Is this the man who raped you? He most certainly is. How? I don't know how he done it, but he done it. It all happened so fast, I... Now let's consider this common me now. Do you wish to reconsider any of your testimony? You want me to say something that didn't happen? No, ma'am. I want you to say something that did happen. I told you what happened. You testified that you turned around there he was. Then he choked you? Yes. Then he released your throat and hit you? I said he did. He blacked your left eye with his right fist? I ducked it and it glanced. That's what it did. I ducked it and it glanced off. You'll become suddenly clear on this point. A while ago, you said you couldn't remember too well. I said he hit me. All right. He choked you. He hit you. Then he raped you. Is that right? It most certainly is. You're a strong girl. What were you doing all that time? Just standing there? I told you, I hollered and kicked and fought. Atticus, one question at a time. Give the witness a chance to answer. All right. Why didn't you run? I tried. Tried you? What kept you from it? I, he slung me down. That's what he did. He slung me down, down on top of me. You were screaming all this time? I certainly was. Then why didn't the other children hear you? Where were they at the dump? Where, where were they? Why didn't your screams make them come running? The dump's closer than the woods, isn't it? Or didn't you scream until you saw your father in the window? You didn't think to scream until then, did you? Did you scream first at your father instead of at Tom Robinson? What was it? Who beat you up, Tom Robinson or your father? What did your father see in the window? The crime of rape or the best defense to it? Why don't you tell the truth, child? Didn't Bob you beat you up?